Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to build a mud board. For those of you who do not know, I'm Austin Ross, pipeline welder for about seven years now, going on eight. And uh, here on this channel, I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. If those are videos that you're interested in, make sure and subscribe and ring that bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. So a mud board can be built any size at all. It doesn't matter, make it custom to your build. I've seen wide mud boards, I've seen skinny, I've seen many, I've seen all kinds of different mud boards. But the average size of a mud board is 14 inches by 48 inches. Those are the ones that they usually build, you know, on the jobs for the jobs that have them. Some jobs don't supply them. Some guys have their own custom built mud board all sanded down nice with stain on it and everything else. But your average size is 14 inches by 48 inches. So I just got back from the lumber store. So I had uh, enough two by four, but I didn't have enough one by four. So what you're gonna need is, uh, you don't need a trailer. You can just single cab, just hang over about three foot. But you're gonna need 12 foot of one by four, which is what I got here. 12 foot of one by four and 46, no, 56, 56 inches of two by four. Yeah, that's all you're gonna need as far as material and then either nails or screws. I like to use screws myself, but you can use nails if you don't have a screw gun or if you don't have screws. If you're at the campground, need to build one on the campground. And you don't necessarily need a skill saw either. You can always use a zip disc. A lot of times guys like ourselves, Rick Welders, we're in campgrounds or you know, we're on the road, we don't have a skill saw. So you can use a hand saw or, or a zip disc. So there's several different options. Uh, for the sake of this video, and since I'm home, I'm going to use my chop saw to probably cut all this to length. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Let's build this mud board. Like I said, one by four, 12 foot of it. Then over here, I got my 56 inches of two by four. That is just under five foot of two by four. Screw gun if you're gonna use screws. Two inch screws because with the two by four and the one by four, you got a total of just over two inches. So two inch screw is perfect. And then uh, you will also, for your hillside board, you don't have to have this, but it sure is handy. A two by 12, 14 inches long. And then a lot of people put this, uh, this uh, piece of plywood on here to keep it because sometimes these get to where they crack, as you can see here. So they put that on there for extra support. They left this plywood down two by fours width to go right in here. And uh, that's why you're actually gonna want this before, well, you don't have to have this, but a two by four at least, whenever you go to space these out. That way you have the proper width right here in between these two by fours, so. All right, I'm gonna cut three of these at 48 inches, which is right at four foot. I'm gonna use a pencil so I can see it better. Four foot. Then I'm going to need four of these two by fours at 14 inches. All right, now that we've got all our pieces cut, just simply frame it up just like we would metal. Um, wood's a little bit different than metal because if you cut it too short, you can't you can't gob something on there to, to make it work. So, but luckily a mud board, not too particular. So I'm probably gonna put at least two screws in each one of these, if not three. Uh, probably just I'm looking up here at this one, see what I did on this one. Two would be plenty, but um, you can put three. But I'm gonna start with squaring up this first end, just sinking a screw in here. I 
a little square on her if you want. Probably not a bad idea. Square it up. Go ahead and put another screw here, that way it stays square. Now I'm gonna go ahead and square this other side. All right, all I did there was got my two ends on. I just put this board underneath here to hold it up because the table's not long enough. You can always do this on the floor, like on the ground, if, if it's you know easier at the campground or whatever. Um, but, so I got a rectangle right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my middle one on and space it out. That way, all these are on. Inch and seven eighths, looks like we've got to come this way. Inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter. All right. Another nice little trick you can do with carpentry and screws is you can start your screw in the wood and then move your wood into place. That way, whenever you get it spaced right or square, you can go ahead and nail it down. You'll be ready to put the screw in. All right, now we've got pretty well a mud board. All right, now we're gonna measure for our two by 12, the hillside, I'm gonna measure inch and three-eighths right there i'm gonna come over here inch and three-eighths so in theory should be able to slide this right up against our mark the numbers facing down it bothered me in theory that should fit but what i'm gonna do is hang it off a little bit hang it off the table Make sure this bad boy is gonna fit. Ooh, see, it's a good thing I didn't go with that inch and three eighths. Hold that up there. Slide that up nice and snug. Go ahead and put a screw in. I'm gonna start me a screw there. Start me a screw here. Check it one more time. Get on. I've actually never built a mud board on this table, but it's a lot nicer having it hanging over like this so you can get this mud or this hillside board fitting good. All right, now that we've got our hillside section in, we've got a hillside board, I'm gonna put that last two by four centered between these two. I was looking at this mud board, it don't look like, I may not have built that one, or if I did, I'm not sure why I didn't center it, because I've got some mud boards off of jobs, but uh, I'm gonna center it between this board and that board. So we got three feet. So half three is a foot and a half. Uh, 16 inches, or I mean 18 inches. What is a two by four actually? A two by four is actually three and a half inches. So 18, half of three and a half is an inch and a half, inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter, so it's half, three and a half. That's a done deal. You got yourself a mud board, 14 inches by four foot. Inside, it fit, and it does. 
good and that's about average. Sometimes it falls out. But what you can always do to get this to fit good is you can let this sit out in the rain or wet it yourself while it's in here and it'll swell up and it'll uh, fit like that. But anyway, yeah, there you go. It doesn't have to fit tight. Sometimes it's nice for it to fit tight. You can pick it up and move it all at the same time. But um, this is just so you can get a little more height if you're on fabrication or on any weld where the weld's a little bit high and get a little height out of here. Or if you're on a working in the hills, if you're literally on a hill, that's where they get the term hillside board. Uh, if you're on a hill, you can make yourself halfway level with this hillside board. So um, people make different uh, sizes of hillside boards. Make one about half the size. Um, just depends on where you get most comfortable. So there you all have it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you don't already have it, you can get my essential tools list. Uh, it's a list that we made for just starting out building a rig truck. You know, just the basic tools you need. If that's something that you're interested in, you can check out the link in the description. All you gotta do is put in your email and uh, we'll send it over to you. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'm not sure if my board's on it or not, but anyway, you can definitely uh, build your own. Be creative, that's my advice for this week is be creative when building a mud board, you know? I've seen guys put smaller slats and closer together, I've seen them make a little bit wider. Like I said, I've seen them make it shorter, make it fit your truck. Uh, just be creative and make it to where you can still be comfortable while making a weld. You know, that's the whole idea. That's my advice is make sure you're comfortable when you're welding and be creative. So get comfortable and get creative and make a mud board that fits you. Some jobs supply mud boards, some don't, but if you do build your own, be creative and uh, yeah, get comfortable, make good welds. We will see you guys next Friday in my next video. Thank you for watching, and remember, learn something every day. Yeah, on yellow. Plug it in. How does that sound? Work a little better now.